With the members of his cabinet, with the Republican administration preparing to take over the reins of government, the conference between the chief executive and his circle of top-level advisors is brief. It concludes with a traditional presentation to the president. State Secretary Atchison, on behalf of the cabinet, presents Mr. Truman with a big leather chair he occupied during his fateful years in the White House. With his full administrative team, John Foster Dulles and Richard Nixon, the other members of his cabinet, and top advisors. The president-elect and Sherman Adams, Eisenhower's number one aide, arrive for the first session of the two-day conferences, which will help chart United States domestic and foreign policy for the next four years, under the first Republican administration in 20 years. After a three-day trip by air from Korea to attend the inauguration. The 29-year-old officer, who has been overseas since July, presses through a crowd of cameramen to his waiting father. The Eisenhowers are reunited for their day of days. 